Jordan year 23, we going 6 0 this year, you heard? Champagne everywhere, nigga. Turn nothing out of something, man, that's really something. Made a couple hundred bands, man, I'm really coming. On the gram, talking like he's something. We gonna catch him live in person, and we really dumping. And we are back with another episode. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you've been here, welcome. Um, today's topic is gonna be about your vices and how your vices can destroy you completely. Let's just get right into it. As an adult, um, it's normal to have like a couple of vices, one or two at most. People get carried away and get controlled by their vices, whether it be drugs, women, porn, weed, uh, just drinking. It could be anything. You can get controlled by that and it would literally drive your life crazy as a, as a person. You have to be able to control your vices yourself. You, by control, it means that whenever you crave it or whatever, you, you run into it, that means it's controlling you. You have to sometimes say, nah, not today. You know, it's an internal battle, but you have to say, nah, I'm cool. Not this weekend or not this week. You know, people get caught up in like even, you know, going out every weekend could be a vice and and you know drinking smoking pornography just it could be chasing women without like you know prioritizing your goals and shit like prioritizing your vice is like is when you're under control that's literally the ultimate failure as a man it would it would it would drive you to death would die. like it's not just failure you would just be like at the lowest level of your life if you let your vice control you you know some people uh for example just smoke weed just i'm i'm not trying to hate on smoke I feel, I feel like personally i feel like if you want to smoke weed just get rich first you know what i mean i don't think there's a point of smoking as you know somebody that don't got money or it drives a lot of people lazy you know and then they prioritize like that whatever their earned income is they run to go get that vice. your vice is turned into like addiction to the point where whatever earned income you get you go and the first thing you spend on is like to satisfy that need or that that itch you know what i mean and i could go for um you know chasing women i could go for alcohol i could go for like pornography only fan subscript like all that you know that could be part of that so um yeah i'm going back to smoking like i don't think people just like should smoke unless you're like every like like a millionaire and at a minimum you know what i mean there's no point of you smoking weed if you just sit there and just like oh it helps me with my mental no bro like it makes you lazy like for the most part i've seen it i've seen it within my own community so i can talk about it you know to some people yo kudos to you if you can like overcome that but the majority of what i've seen is like it makes people completely lazy like lay off that shit focus on yourself you know, uh, if you're the type of person I prioritize, like, just, like, you know, um, women, chasing women, and then you're not on your shit. You're just spending so much money on dates, and then, you know, it would drive you crazy. Pornography, same shit, paying for subscriptions to see naked women online. It's just, it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, we all have it. I mean, I'm not one to judge. I'm not trying to judge, but... Uh, I'm just saying, you know, be able to control your vices, you know, like not, not, no bad habit is going to, the outcome of a bad habit is just failure, you know, it would lead into like a disaster. No, the outcome is a bad, of a bad habit is disaster. We've seen it time and time and time and time and time again, but yet we still get into like being controlled by that, so... Your driving force is your vice instead of your own self and your brain. Best thing to do is just train your mind to say no to certain things sometimes when you crave something. Say if you need like a drink or two, I don't know, you know, and if you're an alcoholic, you know, just just learn to say not today. Maybe not today. I'll be all right, you know. I know it sounds easy to say. It's the hardest shit to, to come out of, uh, you know, um, addiction. I'm not talking about addiction, but just like just... 
as an adult that what leads to addiction is like your vice being your vice literally controlling you is going to lead to that level of addiction you just got to break out of it as a man prioritize you your health health comes first and then prioritize to get money celebrate here and there but at the end of the day if i prioritize your health you wouldn't even um get to you know doing all those all those type of things you all have, have an addiction which i i myself have you know a couple of vices i drink here and there smoke cook here and there but thing is I, I it doesn't it doesn't control me to the point where you know i i just go crazy about it and just like oh let me you know drink myself to like i would never do that you know Some social occasions we get to we get to drink whatever but that's, that's like your downfall you know that gambling weed all the autumn things you know just learn to cut it out especially it's top of the year this year um um you should you should be able to cut it out and see how far you can go and see the actual outcome of uh how healthy you become and how much money you save by not spending on you know your vices that shit adds up you know um a, a lot a lot you know a lot like i personally saw it uh in like in my own self like usually i you know go out just go to hookah bars chill out just on some random like mostly it was like on some everyday tip you know and then you know i, I start saying like yo i'm not going there anymore i'll just i'll just make some at home if i have it that, even that like slight difference i noticed like yo the amount of money i'm saving is crazy and you know you should try that too like sometimes you don't need to smoke or whatever just fight it off fight it off and just be disciplined and then you'll see uh, how you can grow as a person you know by limiting your your vices basically you know what i mean just cut that shit out basically that's all i wanted to say uh thank you for watching i'm gonna see you on the next video thank you